Hi everybody, Eugene here with Darkroom Software. In this quick video, I want to show you a brand new feature coming to Core and Pro 9.3. It's a little bit of a sneak preview. Uh, it should be coming out um, in just a few days. If you're watching this in the future, it's probably already out. So uh, let's jump right into my computer because it's easier to show you rather than try to explain it, but it is awesome. Okay, so we're in my computer right now and I have a folder full of images and if you photograph schools or sports, this type of setup would be pretty common um, where you have a student or a player holding a typically a slate card. In this case, I just have a QR code added on top of the image, but this would typically be held by the student or player and you shoot it um, and then so you know who each person is and where the next person begins so we have that in core edition you'll see a brand new option whenever you go into your quick import setup right down here scan images for QR codes create uh, and I have it set to create sub events named with data so there are a few options here you kind of play around with them but um, what I'm going to do is go ahead and click OK. And it's going to delete the photos afterwards. That's fine. So I'm going to create a, a new catalog. And we'll just click finish for right now. It's going to be under sports. I'm going to click because I already have the uh, quick import option set up, I'm gonna use the shortcut key I, and it's looking at that folder. So when I click I, it's going to start importing those images. And it's 33, so it's gonna take just a moment. Okay, and now we have our sub catalogs and the QR codes in the code, it was actually the, uh, the player's name or the uh, cheerleader's names. So when you click on their name right here, it shows their images with the QR code. And right now I have my um, images set to not hide um, or not to, to show hidden photos. These would typically all be hidden. We'll go ahead and uncheck that. And you can see if you were to publish to, let's say, Photo Reflect, it would just be these images, but you can show the hidden photos so you can see the QR code if you needed to, but there shouldn't really be a need for that. So you can go through and then select uh, kids and build your order from there. So where I think this is really powerful is when you're using a networked version using Pro as a server and Core running as a sales station or a workstation in presentation mode. So let's jump into that and look at that. If we click on presentation mode, I can see these images. I can click on one and place an order. I can click back to events and if I select this event right here, I then can browse through these images and this would be a whole possibly league of kids and multiple sales stations where uh, parents can select their child's image, select the ones that they want to print and then place the order. So I hope this has been helpful. This is a very exciting feature. I come from a workflow background, so I love seeing this type of addition to our software. I hope you're excited. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Thanks again for watching. If there's a topic that you want to learn a little bit more about, be sure to comment below, like, subscribe, and click the little notification bell so when we, we release a new video, I'll let you know. Here's some other videos you might like. But most importantly, thanks for being a customer. I'll see you next time.